Hey guys, what's up? Mike Locke here. So I'm going to show you how to design an Apple-inspired monitor in Adobe Fireworks using some of the Adobe Fireworks uh, vector tools. And what I mean by Apple-inspired, something like this, a monitor that looks something like the iMac. And uh, we'll design that in Fireworks. And in doing so, you'll learn to use some of the, um, the features in, in vector tools in Adobe Fireworks and become more familiar with that. So the first thing we're going to do is grab the rectangle tool here and just draw out a rectangle. Now what you want to do uh, before you actually let that go or release that with your mouse you want to hold your up arrow key keep pushing your up arrow key up and you'll start to see that the rounded corners or the corners start to become rounded. Okay so you can let go of that and then what you want to do turn the color of your you know your rectangle here to black then go ahead and grab the box again or your rectangle tool and you're just going to draw out an area on uh, the screen that like a rectangle like this this time it's going to be you're going to keep the straight edges and then you're going to click uh, your paint tool and just click and change that to white okay so that's the first step you got these two little things in place. Now what you want to do, go on the web and you want to grab an image. For my case, I'll just I found this image on the web on Google and then just paste that into your your fireworks uh, canvas. It's a large image, so I'm going to uh, scale it down a little bit. All right, so just uh, sort of scale that down just a little bit like that. And then what you want to do, you want to actually right click on your the white box here and just do a range, bring to front. So you want your white box to be in front of your image here. And then select, go ahead and hold shift key down and select both of these the white box and the image and then go over here and do modify mask group is mask okay it's gonna look something like that alright now what you want to do you want to go ahead and grab the sub selection tool here go ahead and click on your black box and do command C for, on a, if you're on a Mac or Control C to copy and then click on this image here and you're going to paste your box so that if you see here we copy the rectangle from below and we pasted it on top. Alright now what we're going to do zoom in here with your sub selection tool click on your box make sure that top box is selected and go ahead and click on a point here or click on one of these points we're gonna click on this point right here and we're gonna hit delete alright let's go ahead and zoom out a little and then we'll hit delete on this one as here we'll click that one and hit delete and then you wanna drag this over using holding down your shift key drag that over and you wanna drag this one over as well too something like that okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna create a glare if you look over here on the iMac you see these little glares here that's what we're gonna create to actually give it a glass effect so with that being black there go ahead over here and just do gradient linear so that your linear looks something like this your linear gradient looks something like that you can always click on your pointer and you can change the direction of your of your gradient here. All right, and then what we're going to do, click on your gradient thing here, and we're going to change that to white. And you're going to turn that one back to white. But up here, we're going to click on this opacity filter here, and we're going to lower the opacity on the bottom portion here completely. Okay, so it looks something like that. Now, select this glare 
or this vector object and down below here we want to change the opacity down to like 34 or something like that or actually you can change it down to like or change it up to like 45 looks cool alright so you'll see the glare in here so the glare actually starts from the top it's a white and it fades out and uh, it looks like a sort of like a glare sort of like a shiny iMac okay almost done okay so what we're gonna do now we're going to create the stand for the iMac or for this monitor here and just go over here and, and grab your pen tool and so what we want to do is we want to create these points so we're just gonna go click hold down your shift key to just make a straight line click 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 so what I did was with my pen tool if you hold your shift key you create these straight lines while you're clicking and so it should look something like that okay it should be fairly even you can grab these points and adjust them what you do is you grab them with your sub selection pointer here alright let's see it looks okay so you want it to be straight and, and uh, equal on both sides so what you're gonna do with your sub selection pointer here click on this object select one of these points and we're going to highlight and select these four points so that these four points are selected not the top two then come over here to this area where it says path and click on this option here where it says fillet points and then we're going to choose number eight in here click OK and what that will do is sort of round the corners a little bit okay so now what you want to do is select that we're going to go and create a gradient but we want to edit the gradient here so bring the white bar here select there to create another tab and we're going to create uh, make that a dark gray 999999 and we want to move these closer like that so it creates it creates this effect okay so select off that select this here with your we want to go back over here and grab your main tool main pointer tool so that you see the uh, gradient changer here and you're going to grab that and move that down a little bit all right so it looks something like that so with your sub selection pointer you kind of zoom in a little bit you can grab these points holding down your shift key select these points or with your arrow key you can sort of stretch this out so it looks something like that okay now you want to select that and we want to do a filter we're going to create a drop shadow just angle that down to about like two 70 we want to bring that down to like 3 push that up to 80 push this down to like like 1 so it looks something like that alright so that's pretty much it that's your Mac inspired monitor what you can do also you can add a nice little gradient or background to this let me just a radio background let's do a radio here let's see what colors we can choose select that we're gonna come over here and choose nice green teal color or turquoise color here we're going to do a filter add some noise to that and we're going to bring that down to the background let's check
change the background color just a little slightly. So there you have it. Your Apple inspired monitor done in vector in Adobe Fireworks. So I hope you learned a few few tricks and tips using some of the vector tools in Adobe Fireworks and some of the things you can do. But that's how you design stuff with the vector tools. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll talk later. Bye.